Hello everybody, Tess Crawley here. How are you today? I'm sitting in my car. It's actually a little bit hot and stuffy. I'm waiting for, uh, I'm at the, um, I'm in the car park at school. Um, my son is getting an award this afternoon and I have to say I'm actually a little bit excited. He doesn't know, so I can't wait to see his face. Hi Jen. I'm just going to talk really quickly um, about a lesson that I learned this weekend, um, you may have seen some photos from me. I've, I've been in Bondi Beach all um, weekend. I got back home yesterday evening um, and I was there with my mentor. And, I, and those of you who know me, you know that I'm a clinical and forensic psychologist, but I'm also a mentor to mental health professionals. And, and I have a mentor myself who helps coach me around what I'm doing with my business um, and keeping me honest, keeping me on track with all the plans that I've got um, to develop mentoring programs that I'm working on at the moment. Um, the number one lesson that, not the number one, it's probably the first one that comes to mind because my head is still full of all the things that I um, took away from this working retreat this weekend. But the one thing I wanted to share with you today was the experience I had uh, when I was sitting on the plane coming home yesterday and I was madly writing down all the things that I... Um, wanted to achieve in the next month based on the conversations I'd had over the weekend. And the list, let me tell you, is rather ridiculously long. Um, and uh, Jen saying her head's still spinning too. Yes, Jen, you were there with me. And um, I have a very long list and I had a big chat while I was on the retreat about delegation. So I just want to say to you today, when you get that feeling of overwhelm, when things are getting too big for you and your list is getting too long, I want you to have a really honest look at what's stopping you from asking somebody to do some of those things for you on your list. So the second half of the journey home, I actually took out a different colored pen. Those who were with me on the retreat know that I use different pens to help me point out what it is I'm looking at. And I started identifying who was going to do each of those tasks on my list. So instead of creating the list, assuming I had to do it all, becoming overwhelmed and only achieving half of it, I've now got a bit of a plan for who's going to be doing what task off that to-do list. And I'm hoping within a month's time they'll all be ticked off and I'll be one happy camper. Anyway, that's it for me today. I don't want to miss getting a front row seat to watch my little fellow get his very first um, award at school. He's been hanging out for a good two years to get one of these, so he's going to be ridiculously excited, as am I. Have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye for now.